Okay, we're going to go ahead and do the spin test to see how free the hub spins compared to uh, the sister bike. These are two Schwinn's, uh, same model, but a male and a female, uh, or a low bar versus a high bar. So here we go. We're going to line them up, touch, and let's go. Separate. Okay, so now they're spinning, and I'm at 30 seconds on my video. I can see at 42, it's already slowing down on the Clean Republic wheel. There's no uh, brake touching either rim. So I got maybe, it's 54 seconds, maybe 15 seconds worth of spin on my... Uh, Clean Republic wheel, my Schwinn wheel. Now it's up to 45 seconds and still going pretty fast. So definite difference in resistance. Minute 15, we're already quite a bit longer. Uh, this is a little disappointing to me. I felt like I had some resistance when I was riding unassisted. And this kind of proves it. Uh, we're still going. It's a minute 30 seconds. So almost, you know, I'll bet you we're going to get a minute and a half of free spin on the Schwinn wheel versus 15 seconds on the Clean Republic wheel. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just, just see how, again, it'll spin on its own. Uh, let's just see what it does here. I'm going to hit the motor. That's about full speed. I'm going to let it go. Okay, and we're now at about two minutes total on video time. I predict it's going to come down to a pretty slow stop in about five seconds. It's been 15 seconds, almost the same. You know, maybe 20 seconds, it's about to stop. 25 seconds. Yeah, about 25 seconds total and it stops.